Hello friends, welcome back. What you see on this demonstration board is a three-way switch wiring. In this simple scenario, the power source is closer to the switch. The 14-3 wire goes from the first switch to the second switch and then it goes to the light or light fixture. This is the simplest case of wiring a three-way switch. But how the wiring is done if the power source is closer to the light fixture? This is what I am going to demonstrate today. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I complete this project. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. In this demonstration, I have used Leviton Decora type switches. To maintain consistency in the type of switches in your home, you might want to use this type of toggle switch. I'm using these Vago lever nut connectors, but if you want, you can use these simple wire nut connectors as well. As you can see, I have already laid the wires from the light source, from the light fixture to the first switch box and from the first switch box to the second switch box. What happens in this scenario that the power goes to the light fixture using a 14-2 wire. From the light fixture to the first switch box, we have a 14-3 wire. Now from the first switch box to the second switch box, we use another 14-3 wire. I will now strip these wires and then we will start the wiring connections. I have stripped all the wires now for about half an inch. Safety first, make sure that there is no power anywhere in these wires. There is no power, it is ok to proceed. I forgot to mention that this is the light fixture we are going to use for this demonstration. This is the black hot wire and this is the white neutral wire. Depending on the light fixture you are using, there may be a green ground wire as well. I have just attached the light fixture here to demonstrate the connections. These are the two wires from the light fixture. The whole idea or the trick in this wiring is to route the power which is coming to the light fixture through these two switches before it reaches the light fixture. So the connections are done in such a manner that the black hot wire from here goes through these two switches and then back to the light fixture. So first we will wire this switch and then this switch and then in the end we will connect these wires. Once again leave it on three way switch. This part is the top so we will keep this part on top. That means our ground wire comes on top on the left side and one traveler wire is connected here to this brass screw. Black wire is connected to this black screw and another traveler wire is connected to the upper brass screw. We will maintain a configuration so that black wire is always on the left side along with the ground wire in both of these two switches. So first we will take care of the ground connections. All three ground wires are connected using a Vago lever nut connector. Ground wire coming from this 14-3 wire, ground pigtail which is connected to the switch box and ground pigtail from the switch. In this particular scenario, we will connect the two traveler wire to the two brass screws, one on right side and one on left side. I will keep the black wire on the left side and the red traveler wire on the right side. This white wire is connected to the black screw here. So we will treat this white wire as a hot wire. We will take a small tape and mark this as hot. Because this white wire is my hot wire, I will do the same over here as well. This is the white wire from the 14-3 and this will be treated as hot and connected to the black screw. Next we will make connections in this switch box. Let's do the ground connections first. I will join all the grounds with a 5 pin Vago lever nut connector. Here are our four ground wires. Ground wire from the 14-3, ground wire from next 14-3 which is going to the next, the other switch box, a ground pigtail connected to the switch box and a ground pigtail connected to the three-way switch. So very similar connections as we did here. This white wire is considered black. Red wire from this 14-3 coming from the other switch is connected to the top brass terminal. Next, the black wire 
coming from the 14-3 wire from the other switch is connected on this side. This is a traveler wire. Next, the black wire from this 14-3 is connected to this bottom screw here. The white wire from this 14-3, which is marked with this black tape here, is connected to the red wire from the 14-3 coming from the light fixture. I will connect these two with a 2-pin Vago lever nut connector. This white wire from this 14-3 is not used. I will cover this wire with a 2-pin Vago lever nut connector and leave it here. Now we connect these wires, ground wires first. Use a 3 pin Vago lever nut connector to connect all the ground wires. Ground wire from the power source, 14-2 wire, ground wire from this 14-3 and green ground pigtail connected to the light box here. Next we will take care of all the white wires. The white coming from the power source, the white from this 14-3 wire and the white coming from the light fixture. I will use a 3 pin Vago lever nut connector to connect all three white neutral wires. Next, the black wire from the light fixture is connected to the black wire from the 14-3. Again, I will take a 2-pin Vago lever nut connector to connect these two wires. Next, we will connect the black wire from the power source to the red wire from the 14-3 wire which is going to the switch box here. Let's take another look at how the wires are connected. Power comes in using a 14-2 wire to the light fixture or you can say the, the outlet box for the light fixture. A 14-3 wire goes from the light fixture to the first switch box. From the first switch box another 14-3 wire goes to the second switch box and this is where the circuit terminates. In this light box all the ground wires are connected using a 3-pin Vago lever nut connector. Next the white wire from the 14-2 and the white wire from the light fixture they are connected here. Also the white wire from the 14-3 which is going to the first switch box is connected here. So all three white wires, one from power source, one from light fixture and one from 14-3 wire, they are connected together here. The black wire from the power source is connected to the red wire from the 14-3 going to the first light fixture and the black wire from the light fixture is connected to the black wire going to the first switch here. The red wire which is connected to the black hot wire from the power source is connected to the white wire from the 14-3 which is going to the second switch box. Because this wire is hot, red becomes hot here and, and the white wire becomes hot here from this switch to that switch. This white wire is from this 14-3 wire which is coming from the light fixture is not connected here. Coming to this switch, as I explained earlier, this black wire is connected to the black wire of the light fixture. This red wire is from this 14-2 and it is coming here to the second switch. On the other side, this black traveler wire and this black traveler wire is a part of this 14-3 wire here. Take a look at this black terminal here. We have a, a white wire from this 14-3 marked as hot. This white wire comes to this switch box and is connected to the red wire here from this 14-3 and that red is connected to the black hot wire from the power source. Let's take a look at how the circuit is completed. Power comes to the light fixture using this black wire, goes to the first switch box using this red wire here and then goes to the second light fixture using this white wire here marked as uh, hot using a black tape. Power travels between these two switches back to the light fixture using the black wire from second three-way switch here. I will now push these wires inside the boxes and tighten these screws. You just have to make sure that none of the wires touches the ground wire or the outlet box. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will leave these wires as is so that I can check that the connections are correct. I will turn on power now. I just turned on the power. On, off. On, off. On, 
off from here and on from here off from here so this is how the three-way switch configuration works when power is coming to the light box or the outlet box for the light fixture i hope this video is informative it is useful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel there are several other diy videos on my channel that's all for today i'll see you next time until then please take care